We are less than 48 hours away from the Paris 2024 opening ceremony. But events got going earlier on Wednesday in the French capital. That means action is already live on the Sportsmax app. Remember, download today. You can also use our new feature casting from your smartphone or tablet to your TV. Yeah, download the Sportsmax app today and watch Paris 2024. Yeah, the stage is very much set. Paris off and running well not quite running yet just a little bit of kicking um yeah this will be the third time that Paris will be hosting the summer games they did so in 1900 and 1924 there's a lot to cover that much i can tell you we're talking about 32 sports 329 medal events and over 10,000 athletes members of the sportsmax production team are ready to deliver on our promise to cover the region like never before let's find out what they've been up to returning hold on let me try and say this in the commentary voice <clears throat> returning for her second olympic games alex jordan and she's been showing the new with the ropes let's welcome donald oliver Donald and Alex, how are you? Ah, uh, we're great. We're great. Thank you so much. Good to see you guys. Hello from Belle Paris. It's incredible to be here for another Olympics, and you're quite right. We're not quite off and running yet. Two days to go, Donald. Yeah, how are you enjoying so far? I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, not as warm as I expected it to be because I was told it was as hot as Jamaica. Not yet, and I hope it remains the same. It's been a little bit chilly. Um, I didn't carry a coat, so I hope that uh, it, it stays relatively cool and not too cold, especially at night. But we are looking forward to the event as they have already got on the way um, with uh, rugby and the football. Yeah. Have you guys fallen that in love note, yet? May not I just necessarily add, with each other, by the way. I beg your pardon? Have you guys fallen in love yet? It's the city of love, that's what I was told. Ah, oh, it is the city of love. Well, you see, Paris, it is the city of love. I'm, you know I'm full of love. But Donald doesn't recognize yet how much he needs me. And I have an example. <laughs> he went off today to have a look at some facilities. He went to try and find the pool, which is reasonable. He's setting up a, uh, some interviews a little later in the week. So he got there and he was showing us on his snaps on Instagram, some diving and the preparation and all of this. It was only when he left the venue that he realized... <laughs> That was not, in fact, the pool where they're going to be swimming. So he needs me. Hein? Il ne parle pas français. Alors, il a besoin de moi. What she said. But, you know, it's fine. Um, I'm getting better, better now than when the competition actually begun, uh, or when the competition actually begins, um, because we can make all the mistakes in rehearsals, right? But when the time comes, it's perfection, and that's what I plan to do, right, Alex? Yes, man. We're okay. ready for you. <laughs> yeah, once you learn how much you need, Alex. Um, Donald, let's zone in here a little bit, right? Because you have been working on a special project over the last um, few months. I want you, first of all, to tell us about that project, and then we're going to show our viewers what you've been working on. All right, so I don't know how far to, to go back, but I, I, my, my close friends know that music is my first love and um, sport is my second love. Um, and it's just recently <laughs> that I really have been investing in, in, in music and, 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 and what to do with it and how far I could go with it. And um, this song that I wrote was written over 12 years ago, actually. Um, I had a plan for it then for the 2012 Olympics, but uh, the stars weren't aligned to put it together the way how it eventually turned out. Uh, thanks to a few of my very good friends, we were able to put the song together and produce a music video for it in time for these Olympic Games here in Paris for 2024. So um, I, I, I hope you like it. It's a, it's a strong message. It's not just for the Olympics. It's just a, a message of reassurance. Uh, that you can uh, be anything you want to be and can push through difficulty to reach your end goal. All right, let's have a look at that.
Yeah, shine again, inspirational, emotional, and a message, I'm sure, to all our Caribbean athletes heading to the Olympic Games in Paris. Yes, yeah, so many amazing messages coming out of that. Be stronger, fly higher. Yeah, let's answer the call. Um, Alex Jordan, I put this to you first. Great messages coming out of that song, written and directed by Mr. Oliver himself, your partner in crime. I, I'm so impressed. What a multi-talented guy. And you make the good point that, yes, great themes coming through there in the tune. But I think we understand the context of what's happened. He mentioned it was 2012 that he wrote that tune. So I think even a bigger message, especially for young creatives who may be frustrated in their work or their life and feel like things are not happening. As we say in Barbados, nothing before it time. Yeah, Alex. Uh they, you were so good, and you are so good that they had to draft another Barbadian. So, they, thankfully, uh, they, they picked me to join you all on this broadcast uh, of the Olympic Games. Uh, so, but I need to ask you and Donald for sure, both of you. Your job is so, I guess, essential to what we have to do to, to tell the stories of our Caribbean athletes. Uh, how integral of a part do you see yourselves playing in our coverage? All right, I'll start with that. First of all, thank you for the compliment. Go Barbados! <laughs> <laughs> we may only have four members of our Olympic team, but we've got a couple here on the Sports Max broadcast. Uh, everybody is crucial to a broadcast. I mean, as front-facing uh, talent, we already have an ego to control. All right, we like to be in the camera. We have a lot to say. But the truth is, the more I work in television, uh, the more productions that Sportsmax has afforded me, uh, makes me realize that everyone is equally important because you wouldn't see us or hear us uh, if it weren't for the, the, the five or six people behind this camera right now. Yeah, and, and the, the thing about it is that we actually love telling the stories. Um, we, we love going behind the scenes. We love doing the interviews because I think that was missing in broadcasts past, especially when the Home of Champions didn't have the rights for these Olympic Games. We were used to a particular narrative. We even see that in series past on a particular streaming service that we will not mention. But as far as changing the narrative is concerned, uh, that's what we intend to do for our Caribbean uh, audience. Yeah, they... uh, go ahead, go ahead. And if Alex. I might just add in there, sorry, Ricardo, not to cross you. Uh, when you Google Olympic stories and you want to have a look across uh, the wild, wide intro web, they're still about the Americans, about the British, um, in this case, about the French. So, so crucial and so amazing that Sportsmax has got a team here on the ground in Paris to bring you the stories about us, the real superstars of the Olympics. Yeah, and uh, I'm a hard news fan myself uh, of course sports is my first love but i do double in current affairs as well uh well, just how are things on the ground in paris uh in terms of you know we've had some security issues there's even strike action being uh threatened by the dancers or those participants in the opening ceremony but when you move around paris how do things look are the people uh do you get a sense of olympics in the air Would you like to take this first? Sure. Police are everywhere. And, and soldiers are everywhere. I have, I've never seen such a... It's, it's, there are large numbers. I, I mean, at, at times, they are... Well, they are right behind us. I'm not sure if they're able to see it, but they patrol the place in numbers. We feel actually quite secure in the media village. Um, and, and when we travel to different uh, stadia, that's exactly what we, we, we see. We get directions all the time. Um, as far as the Olympic spirit is concerned, I got a glimpse of it at South of France when uh, the Rugby Sevens uh, uh, was going on. Thousands of people lining up to get into the stadium and they're pretty much excited to be a part of the festivities. So the excitement is building up. I can just imagine what Friday is going to be like for the opening ceremony. Yes. Ah, oui, les gendarmes. Listen, yes. police everywhere, like the guy says. But this is typical for an event like the Olympics, a big event. Mm -hmm. and, and the idea, I like that you mentioned the hard news. Obviously, the context, the stories going around the Olympics, as important to bring to you as the actual sporting stories. 
But what you have to know about the French culturally, them too love a strike. <laughs> they really love a strike, right? This is a, a thing that they do regularly. So we mustn't panic too much about that. They look re very ready for the Olympics. I've spoken to a few Parisians and they hardly bat an eyelid at all the police presence. So like Donald said, we feel safe and secure. Yeah, two quick ones. This first one for Donald Oliver. Something I don't understand, Donald, there were thousands outside um, the Stade de France when you went to rugby. Um, but when you got into the stadium, you got there to see thousands outside, but you got into the stadium and there was nobody inside. I was watching on your IG story. Are you that special? Yes, and I tell you what, there's, there's gonna be, you're going to tell the running joke that yes, we had. There is a running joke. <laughs> you're going to see it shortly. You, you, you can, you can Luckily for Donald, right, the way he got in there, VIP access, while thousands waited outside, is that he had his Jamaican Premier League ID, which has carried him across the world, through the airport, and through all Olympic stops. The man, the man wears it with a kind of pride. I want to shout out the Jamaican Premier League. Y'all get in full representation here in Paris. I, and one more quick one before we have to True go. or false? It's true. Tr it's, it's true, of course. Of course it's true. The, you guys are staying at the media village. Um, I see a few of the athletes um, showing off what has been described as anti-sex beds. Do you guys also have anti-sex beds? <laughs> yes. Did you say yes, Alex? We, we do have anti-sex beds made of cardboard. <laughs> um, and in fact, I'm going to get that on my Instagram story. <laughs> no, it's a fact. But I want to tell you something. You've mm. never been on a firmer bed. I think it's up to the test. If it's firm, Alex, Alex it's Jordan. not anti -sex. We're in the city of love, Donald. I'm a single lady. Oh my goodness me. Alex, I'll report back, if, people. If it's, <laughs> firm, if it's firm, it's not anti-sex. <laughs> Correct. It's just firm. And to people who are really into sex or know about sex, you know, if it, if it's it can't firm, work. It's not anti -sex. It's not Put it to the test. They're calling it an anti-sex bed, but it's not. It, should, it shouldn't be called an anti-sex It may be an anti-sleep bed for you. <laughs> it is an anti-sleep bed. It is an anti-sleep bed. Well, for me, I had no complaints. Okay, that's great. All right, I think we should leave it there. The producer has told me to keep it PG. Yeah, there's Correct. a picture of one of the Please, beds. fun for the whole family, I Ricardo. I wonder if that's the one that Donald was using. They're very, very pretty, though. Yes, nice looking. Love the colors and everything. Looking good. Well, guys, ensure that you get enough sleep throughout the course of the Olympic Games. You know you have a lot of work to do, and we'll be catching up with you quite a bit um, throughout Paris 2024, starting with the opening ceremony on Friday, where I'm sure you guys will have a grand time. Take care, have fun, enjoy dinner, and sleep. We miss you guys. Thank well, you. Really, but, you know, I miss you. Um, we, we link up shortly. Thanks so much. <laughs> it's fine. I miss Alex, but that's been for about four or five years. Um, Donald, he could live in Paris for all I care. Is it break time? That's your best friend. Donald? Yes. That's is my best, best friend. friend? Yeah. That's what people say. I miss Perry Coles, but you're, you're his best friend. All right, let's go to a break. <laughs>